along, it, or as I went along in my thought process, uh, this came up. And it completely flipped my thinking. Hmm. Uh, so the, the growth mindset, I'm sure everyone here has heard of it, right? You guys have had it in some education class here or there. Uh, Wednesday mornings, um, I, when I typically show up about 15 minutes late, I was taking a 3D coaching uh, seminar, or gosh, what do you call it? Anyway, it was, it was a class offered 6.45 to 7.30 at the high school. So if you're a coach, they encourage you to take it if you wanted to be part of it. So I'd heard of it, I'd been exposed to it, I really thought it was something worth exploring. So I'm sitting there, and, and the growth mindset comes up. And instantly I flipped from charter schools to growth mindset. So I had this thing about half done, flipped it over because as interesting as I think the charter school discussion would be, the growth mindset I think would be, I think is much more uh, <coughs> not only relatable but important for what we're doing in our journey to become educators and in our journey of life. And it really helps that there's a high percentage of Phi Ed majors. If you're a Phi Ed major, it's highly likely you're going to be a coach. Okay? I know four, I think, two, you, you, you guys are already coaches, right? So, together or by yes. category? Yep, all together. So as you're going through this, we're going to talk about this study a little bit here. Some key points that I thought were interesting out of this This was uh, the big part that, that I want to focus on. We're looking at adolescents and going into sorry, going into uh, middle school, and which is the developmental period <coughs> with potentially excessively high uh, stress. I call it the storm and stress period. Forty percent of respondents. Rated adolescents is the worst time in their life. I found that number surprising. Because I don't rate it that way, but I'm at the 60%. But after being in middle schools for a couple of years, I can see the challenge. It's uh, interesting, to say the least. But there's a period where transitioning from elementary school to middle school, because of these stresses, you go from having a, you, know, you can go from having a relatively stable academic situation to seeing your grades <coughs> decline. Okay. What, what the question was, what makes some students resilient and able to meet these challenges or even flourish during this time while others will rapidly go down. What is it that does that? And the answer, a lot of the answer can be followed whether or not it's a growth or a fixed mindset. How are you viewing things? Do you focus on Learning the, the learning goals to get there. Getting the tools in your toolbox in order to achieve the goal that you're trying to get, or are you specifically 
goal orientated <clears throat> in the classroom, aka your grades? Are you focus on the process that it took to get those grades, or are you just focus on the grades? Okay. Another good quote that, that I liked here, it's important to recognize that believing intelligence to be malleable does not imply that everyone has exactly the same potential in every domain, or will learn everything with equal ease. Rather, it means that for any given individual, intellectual ability can always be further developed. But just because you have a positive growth mindset, it doesn't mean that you're going to be great at everything. It means that you can develop what you have further, and you can further that process. In the first study that was looked at, which was this? Dot cam. came in pretty close. When they were taught with a growth mindset, look at the increase. When they were taught with a fixed mindset, it actually went down. Just the, the simple mindset of believing that you can grow, focusing on the process, in order to achieve those goals, you saw a rapid increase, Having a fixed mindset actually went the other way. You actually went down. Okay, going back to your your quiz here. Here's the scores. Here's the scores that tell to you, based on those questions, where is your mindset? Because where your mind is is going to be a direct reflection of where you take others. If you teach on a fixed mindset principle, the kids that you deal with, the athletes that you deal with, are going to be focused on that fixed mindset. If you teach the growth mindset with those principles, you're going to have growth no matter where they're at. Okay, so I thought, I knew this was going to take too much time to do this quiz, but I wanted to do it to give you an idea based on those questions of where you're at uh, as individuals. Okay, so this then ties into me, into this 3D thinking thing. Um, how many of you guys have been exposed to this? Anybody? Okay. For those of you that are going to be coaches or ever.